everyone welcome back again to my channel this is a new channel which i just started where i'll be sewing doing most of the sewing on my other channel which i'll be leaving the link below um that's that channel that channel i must do do drafting pattern draft on that channel but this channel this is where i'll be making the dresses and the sewing on this channel so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video but before i go if i continue showing what i did this satin banner is for a young child of nine years old and because i don't want to use this child here i decided to wear it myself but if you want to use make a satin banner for yourself that is bigger i would suggest you use length of 13 or 14 to make it more bigger to your chest but at the same time you can use the same formula to achieve that same style bigger satin bonnet you want to use so let's get down to the work table so what i'm going to be using today for this tutorial is a velvet remember the child's hair circumference circumference was 22 so i took three out of 22 which gives me 19 inches to cut the velvet elastic if you can see this material is so stretchy so instead of me to use 23 i took out three inches because when you put it around the, the child's head you see how stretchy it is it will to size to measure up to the head circumference so what i have here is 19 inches that's 19 inches so i'll keep this aside so for the satin fabric, I'm going to be folding this into four. So I'm going to fold it like this. Don't mind my, my, my fabric. My fabric is so squishy because my iron wasn't working properly. So if you are if you are using this formula, please make sure you iron out your fabric. My iron is 40 at the moment, so I can't iron this fabric for now. So I'm just going to use my hand to stretch it out. So I fold again like so, like so. Use my hand again. Then I come to this side. Making sure it's okay. So. Always make sure you draft your circle from there. So um, next thing I'm going to do here, I will now take my tape measure from here. First of all, I will start from here to see what length I can get for for the circle. So here, I can have nine and a half. So I'll be taking nine and a half for the circle. So I'll mark it. So yeah, from here as well. I also get nine and a half. Then I'll mark it. Then I'll come to the mid spot like so. I also get nine and a half. So now I'll start rotating it like so. Rotate it again. So I'll come here like so again. I'll rotate it again like so. So you see the way I rotate it like this. So now you can see the circle is showing on this fabric. So now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it from here straight like this so i'll just follow the line like so and start cutting Here is the circle which I'm going to use for this. So this is the circle satin. Remember, this is for a young child. 
if you are doing this for your adults i would prefer that you use a length of not now they have which i use here you can use length of if you want it to be very massive for big you can use length of 10 or length of 15 13 or 15 depending on your choice how you want the bonnet to be on your head so i'm going to use this blue thread with my needle so i'm going to thread it so i'm going to use my needle to i'll take just half an inch here so I need to gather, I'm, I'm gathering from the back to the wrong side of the fabric. If you want, you can use your sewing machine to gather it. But I want to use my needle. So I'm just being lazy this morning. So make sure when you thread your needle, make sure your thread is very long. My thread is very long here, yeah. you can see it's very long. So, I'm still using my needle to gather it. I don't know if you guys know, you can also use your needle to gather your fabric if you don't want to use the machine. So, sometimes I also prefer to use my hands to do the gather, just like what I'm doing now. I just took quarter of an inch. Like so. Then I'll pass the thread through. See what I'm doing now. Just to cut up an inch there. Make sure it's at the tip, you see, close to the edge. That's how I'm taking my gather. Or you can just mark at half an inch and start putting your needle through the marking of your fabric if you want to, so you can get accurate measurements. So, so I'm here now. So make sure this thread is I stick it here like so then I will take so this is the material the velvet so what I'm going to do here is this this is the right side and the other side the right side so I put it together then I'm going to take half an inch on both sides and stitch like so make sure they are all equal together I'm going to stitch from here straight down. So now, the next thing for me to do is to measure on my velvet here, the round circle, the measurement I have here is 19 inches. So I have to make sure the measurement I'm going to have here is also 19 inches. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to take my tape measure and my shock. Then I'll start from here, so I know where I stop. Then I'll start measuring the round to make sure I have 19 inches. I'll take my tape measure like this. I'll move it. I just keep on moving like a circle. Move it again. So this one, I just move it round to where I get to this place. So what I have here is 19 and a half inches. So I just need to take half an inch, just drag it in a little bit. Okay. So to be now 19 inches. So now that I have 19 inches, I will take my thread like this. So I will take the thread which I started from the beginning and the thread which I ended it with this one. I'm going to tie it up like so.
then I'll keep it on one side then I'll take my my band I'll put this all together like so then I'll make sure the edge and the other edge is the same then I'll make sure the both edges of my band and the edge of my satin are the same then I'll now pin it up together with my pin like so during this process you have to be careful because the goddess so I'll pin it up tightly so I do not lose so I'll move it again you know it's like, uh, this velvet it, it, it folds because it's, it's a stretchy velvet so make sure you are losing it and pin it tightly so the gather will not shake so you see the way I'm pinning so I'm going to do that round as you can see I finished pinning all the side round so please always make sure that your fabric is not gathered on the elastic band so what I'm going to do I'm going to make sure it's all stretchy and straight at the elastic band because we don't want gathers on the elastic band we only want gathers on the satin so have we done this I'll now take this thread here now I will now cut it off because I won't be needing this thread anymore so I'll now take half an inch here then I will sew on that straight down round so I'm going to sew this like so then I'll take up the pin and I'll put it back make sure they are all equal at the edges when you are stitching it so now you can see I finished stitching the side so the next thing I'm going to do here I'm going to flip it over like this then I'm going to take half an inch here Half an inch here. I'm going to roll it over like so. Then I will stitch it round like so. So as you can see, I've stitched the edge of the of the band. So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the edge which I stitch. Then you see this place that is rough. I'm going to fold it like so on top of it so you can cover the rough edges like so so I'm going to don't rush it when you are doing it so I'm going to make sure when you are covering it make sure it's covered properly and you stitch on top like this see how you're going to look at the end so you're going to stitch from here straight down all round when you are doing it make sure you use your pin to pin it so it will not go wrong so guys you can see I finished pinning the the bound to the satin so the next thing I'm going to do here I'm going to take this to my sewing machine you can see where I pin it like this then I'll flip it over then I'll start stitching from there straight around round the circle so I'm gonna pin it down and I'll just slowly and gently start stitching like this slowly slowly since I'll, I'll be taking out the pin like so slowly the pin as well I've 
finished stitching the satin bonnet with the velvet uh, bed uh, headband so i have this to just make sure <laughs> to use to decorate it round so i'm going to stick it in like so different colors but if you don't have yours don't worry about it so this is the end product i hope you like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share my video and i'll see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe as well so for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now